bring on today another Mortal Kombat Eel. The video turns out that this weekend was the Brazil game show. Essentially, it's like E3, but over in Brazil, a bunch of game developers are there in tennis, including the co-creator of Mortal Kombat, the man himself, Ed Boon. Yes, Ed Boon is there. Gave a bunch of interviews during a bunch of different panels, including what are we discussed himself doing Mortal Kombat even 20 years from now, and even going as far as to give us characters he wishes he could see in Mortal Kombat 11 if he had his choice. So there's a lot to unpack in this interview. It's a really great interview, of course. Link down below to the full thing. But with that said, let's break this stuff down. Let's get into it. So the article is called BGS Talks Ed Boon Imagines Himself Doing Mortal Kombat for 20 More Years. That is, that's awesome. So it goes on to open by saying, the last day of Brazil game show marks Ed Boon's participation on BGS Talks, the event talk show. Mortal Kombat co-creator, among other things, has revealed that he imagines himself playing the game in 20 years, just as he has in the last 20 years. First, we call it the great inspirations for creating the franchise. Movies such as Terminator, The Predator, Alien, as well as the game Street Fighter are some examples. From there, it goes on to say Ed Boon had voiced Scorpion in the game, so he treats his character as his favorite. However, when asked which of the combatants is the strongest, he recalled Shao Kahn as one of the most appealing bosses in gaming history. Now, here's the thing that's really interesting to you guys are like me, and enjoy thinking of what could have been. So it says here about Mortal Kombat 11, Ed Boon had to dodge DLC. He assured that more characters will be added in the future, but could not give details on which of these will come. Despite this, the producer revealed which characters he wanted to see in the title. Street Fighter, didn't say exactly which, John Wick, and Neo from The Matrix. So yes, Ed Boon is still wanting to see Keanu Reeves in some capacity, in a Netherm Studios game, I say this because going back to just recently, like four or five months ago, there was an article talking about how Neo was almost included on the Injustice 2 roster, but I guess the last second or something's plan fell through, which kind of sucks because now I, I feel like everyone is now like on the Keanu Reeves train, but Ed Boon has been about it for a while now. You can go back to like Mortal Kombat X, there was this intro right here with Kathy Cage. You're up, Keanu. Keanu means cool breeze. Yeah, that's why. There's even a reference to the popular red pill, blue pill scene back in the Matrix and Justice 2 right here. You must have swallowed the red pill. Completely different Matrix. <laughs> With all these references and Ed Boon himself saying he would have loved to have had him included in some capacity in one of these games, I mean, hey, I would not be surprised in the future, either it being John Wick, Neo, you name it, Keanu Reeves will be... Eventually, I believe, in my heart of hearts, included in either a Mortal Kombat game or an Injustice game. You can always have John Wick in Mortal Kombat and have Neo in Injustice. Like, those fit the bill perfectly. John Wick is brutal. He, uh, he's a badass. Neo fits more of, like, the Injustice theme, I'd like to say. So, I mean, it's bound to happen. If the fan demand's there, it almost happened in Injustice 2. Ed Boon still wants it to happen. I don't see why it couldn't happen. So, not really much more to say other than just cross your fingers if you're like, maybe you would love to see this happen because it seems like... It's not out of the realm of possibilities. I think that makes a lot more sense versus the Street Fighter character because this whole Street Fighter cross Mortal Kombat thing has been in discussion forever, it seems now. And um, I know from like the WB side of things, you know, the Mortal Kombat side of things, Ed Boon is at least open to the idea, whereas the Street Fighter side appears to kind of not want it to happen or they're not as open. So it's kind of a bummer because I would love to see, you know, the, the two fighters, you know, Sub-Zero and Scorpion face off against Ken and Ryu, but I, it's never going to happen. I, I just, I'm not getting my hopes up. So, there you have it. Two characters that Edmund wishes he could have saw in Mortal Kombat 11. I guess John Wick slash Neo or a Street Fighter character, but ugh, I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen, guys. Now, the article closes by saying, another desire of Ed Boon is to relaunch old games in remastered form. However, he stated that NetherRealm is not doing anything in this direction at the moment. Now, this one kind of hurts again because even as recent as it was maybe like a year and a half ago, there was a project where they were remaking Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. Ed Boon was behind this like small team putting it together, but ultimately I think the BB stuff didn't cancel it, which kind of sucks because it was like meant to be released alongside MK11, but it didn't happen. And if you guys missed that video, link down below. I go very in depth discussing about you know pretty much everything from this project that almost happened. How they were remaking everything. I guess it just wasn't meant to be, but I think it is cool to know Ed Boon still wants that to happen eventually, so I'm hoping they do remake Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, even remaster, make it look nice in HD. Um, I want to see the you know, 3D era games get some love as well, that'd be really cool. But guys, that is all I got for y'all today. It's a really great interview, of course. Check it out, link down below. It's just cool to get some insight about Mortal Kombat 11, what could have been. Hearing things like Neo, you know, John Wick, Street Fighter character, how 
that's something everyone wanted to see. I thought it was really interesting. I had to share that with you guys. Of course, if you guys did like the video, though, please take one second and drop a like on it. Subscribe for more MKL content. Next time I've been your host, and I see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.